Hi guys, welcome to Milani Land. My name is Alondra and today on Wine West Wednesday Wednesday Wine Wednesday we're gonna be talking about acne and pimples. Yeah, we all have been there wanting to have the flower makeup but you know our skin is not working with us. But we shouldn't blame the skin for everything. Sometimes we have to analyze what we are doing that are creating those pimples that we don't want or that acne that is so disgusting and unattractive. So today I want to dive in into that topic to kind of uh, bring some awareness to some areas of your life that you may not think of um, that creates pimples and acne and some solutions that have worked for me in the past and I hope they will work for you in the uh, in the future <laughs> in the future yes um we on we any further delay let me just get some wine please I need some wine to set the mood by the way this is my favorite wine so far right now because it's cheap not cheap less expensive um i don't know it gave me some dark vibes but it's just like hmm i don't know i just i'm just obsessed with this one but no judgment guys it's just 9.99 i believe got that at walmart cheers so when it comes to acne and pimples you are supposed to first um, find out where the acne or pimples are coming from. You have different options that you can analyze. It can be whether environmental, um, the place that we live in, the place where we work in. Um, it can be, let me just get my notes because I'm gonna get off track like hours you know and i don't want to i don't want that because i don't want to waste your time you know i appreciate your time i appreciate you being here and i appreciate you watching me and getting the advice that i'm gonna give you <laughs> so the first one is gonna be environmental like i said second one is gonna be hormone hormonal um maybe we are about to get our period and we get pimples and that's normal um it's something that some women go every month i myself experience that every month and we just gotta deal with with that but some other people they have acne in a way that is very um it's very um noticeable and intense and maybe it's not actually or pe their period maybe it's just something hormonal that they have to deal with and in that case you will have to find a different way to find out what is causing that acne. I'm not a doctor. I'm just, I'm just a bestie right here trying to tell you advices that work for me. That case, hormonal, was in my case. So my best advice would be to go to, the, to your dermatologist and deal with it. Um... Also, it can be products. Yeah, there are some products that cause cause, cause acne. Um, maybe because your skin doesn't like them, and we all have been there. But some people don't notice it, like they were like they are supposed to. For example, your hair. There's some products that do not work for your hair, and we all know that. And how we know it? Because your your hair get really, 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 really hard, and that's how you know that you're supposed to stop using it but when it comes to products people don't see stuff like that people may see that that product give them uh dryness and they would just buy a better moisturizer to compensate what that product is doing because they're not looking at stuff that way you know what i'm saying so you sh you you're supposed to analyze what you're skin likes and what your skin do not like because that will be the main thing that is going to help you to achieve a flawless beautiful skin my friend so another thing will be dirt yes dirt when it comes to dirt you can find dirt literally everywhere everywhere but there are some places that people don't think of that are very very key when it comes to keeping a flawless skin without acne and pimples for example makeup brushes 
how many times do you clean your brushes? Twice a year, right? We all have been there. I'm not gonna judge you. We all have been there, but it's essential for you to clean them at least, at least twice a month if you use them a lot. That's another thing you have to keep in mind. How many times a week do you apply makeup? In my case, I apply makeup literally five days a week, so I have to wash them constantly, but I understand that we sometimes get too busy. If you need any help when it comes to that, please go follow me, Melanie Len Undercore, and over there, there's some tips that will be great for you on how to clean your makeup brushes. So, it's very simple. It doesn't take a lot of time, and that's, will be at one point that you would just cr cross off your list. So keep that in mind. The second thing will be your pillow. People don't think about pillow, but pillows build a lot of oils, dead skin, disgusting stuff that you don't want to think of. And you just don't want them on your face. And you sleep in there every day. And how many times do you wash your pillow? How many times do you change your pillow? Maybe never. Maybe you have never done that in your life. Remember that that you got fucked up, you got to your bed, slept with your makeup, and then kept sleeping with the same pillow for the longest. You went out, you have dirt on your face, you have makeup, just slept on your pillow and you never wash that? There you go. That may be the reason why you're getting so many pimples out of nowhere. Just saying. All right, and another thing will be habits. Like, you maybe have a, you may have have a habit where you every five minutes touch your skin, touch your skin, touch your skin. You keep a lot of bacteria and dirt on your hands. You open doors every ten minutes. I don't know. I mean, not really. I would say like I would say ten times per day. Let's let's put it like that. You open a door. 10 times per day you if you don't have a car you get on the bus if you whatever reason you accumulate a lot of dirt on your hands so that's another thing that you have to keep in mind stop touching your face we don't want pimples we want flawless makeup flawless makeup <laughs> so please keep that in mind as well so in my case Oh my god, I'm forgetting one. <laughs> the other one is gonna be food consumption. Actually, I'm, I'm all over the place, guys. I'm so sorry. But I feel like you guys are getting the main reasons why. And I know I forgot two of them, but I'm gonna list them right now. So please bear with me. Blame that on the wine. So, um, food consum consumption, consumption, yeah, consumption. Um, when it comes to food consumption, there's food that are gonna create a lot of oh, um, build up on your face or skin. Sorry, um, that will create a lot of pimples and acne that you may not want. In my case, I saw that, and I saw an improve once I stopped eating those type of food. In my case, um, I want to give an example when it comes to environment as well, because for me to explain this one, I have to give you an example, and what better example than environmental, so that way I can combine them two. So uh, when I say environmental, it may be the place where you work or live. In my case, I was having a lot of acne because of the place where I was working. Back in the days, I was working at Wendy's. And um, in those places, um, you have a lot of fried food and fast food. When you are um, exposed to those type of environment, um, your skin tends to suck in those disgusting oils and dirt that is on the air you know what i'm saying or if you are close to the fryer you're gonna be constantly facing that fryer or like french fries or whatever and 
you don't want that on your face because that's gonna create a lot of buildup that you don't want. So you have to analyze the place where you work. If he, huh? Memory, huh? Okay. So if he, you cannot quit your job because that's not what I'm saying. What I'm saying is try to analyze um, where you live and where you work, and uh, keep in mind environmental um, causes of acne. Um, trying to find a solution. Um, if it's a shitty job, fuck it. <laughs> just live it. No, just kidding. It's up to you. It's up to you. You know your life. You know what you can do. So just keep that in mind. But when you're working in those type of places, there's there's a high chance that you will get pimples and acne just because of that. And then most likely working in a place like that, you're consuming a lot of the food that you are making, you know? So when you're consuming the same way as you as the same way you are exposing yourself to those fats and dirt and oils is the same way as consuming them. The only difference is that it may take a little bit longer for your face to develop those pimples because you have to consume it and you have to go through the process of everything, breaking down the food and then poop, you get the pimple. So Watch what you eat. I'm gonna give you my own uh, experience how I watch myself transitioning from a lot of pimple and disgusting acne to you got the point. So yeah, in my case, I was working at Wendy's. What I did was that I had the opportunity to quit that job. I quit that job. I started using a product called Chorology. Chorology is um. It's a product that is created depending on the need that your skin have. You have to send them pictures and they're going to analyze the pictures and then send you a bottle with what they think will help you. You have to give them your main concern and why you don't like, what you want to improve and all of that. It's like dermatologist, same thing, but online. You don't have to go to the doctor. You don't have to pay a huge bill. It's just all online, very convenient. The thing with them is that you kind of have to get a membership where you get the first bottle for $20 and then you have to keep paying those $20 every month. But they're going to send you the bottle literally every three months, which for me, it didn't make sense at all. So what I did was that I got my first bottle and then the second bottle and then I canceled the membership. It may, if you want to take, I don't think it's the right thing to do. I mean... It is the right thing to do because I, I wasn't getting more bottles, you know, like those two bottles will last me literally um, six months. Why? Because at the beginning, you do need the product a lot. But once you start seeing the results, you have to slow down because you don't need it as much. Your skin will, be, will improve immediately. But that wasn't the only thing. By the way, I'm going to list the name. All the names that I'm mentioning, I'm going to list them down below. So if you want to give it a shot, you can think of it and go for it. Um, that wasn't the only thing that helped me. I analyzed every single situation that I told you at the beginning of the video of how to avoid acne. I quit the job I went this. I got um chorology which is more suitable for my skin at the time which that's one thing that i mentioned which is having products that do not match your skin or whatever you're using maybe your hair like the sample that i gave you guys um also food consumption i stopped eating um, i stopped eating beef um pork and any other meat. I I remember I was just eating chicken and seafood. That was the only thing that I was think, eating at the time. And all that combination of things accelerated my healing when it comes to the acne. You guys already saw the picture of how my face used to look. Obviously, I didn't have a severe acne, but for me, who always have literally um, mild to clear face 
of pimples and acne that was a lot for me and let's not just sugarcoat the fact that having acne and pimples and marks it, it make it make you less um attractive like you feel like your self-esteem go down because you now you have to depend on makeup and that may not be your case you may you may be like fuck it i don't care but in my case i felt like that not because of what other people would say it was just because of me because i do a lot of stuff that made me feel pretty but that's for myself if it's other people want to embrace that and like acknowledge that Great, fine, that's a bonus, but most of the things that I do is going to be for my own self. How comfortable do I feel with my own skin? How comfortable do I feel with this hair or like vice versa? You know what I'm saying? So uh, I didn't feel comfortable to wear non-makeup. I always have to have makeup and it was, it, that was so freaking annoying. I wouldn't, I wanted to be free. I don't like to be tied down I, that that's how i feel i feel like i have to depend on makeup which was very annoying so whatever worked for you worked for you so after i saw myself improve I, after i saw my skin sorry improving with all the things that i combined it was time for me to find um a skincare routine that will help me um continuing and carry on the results that I already have because there's some skin products that will dry out your skin or um, not make your skin look at its best and so on so with me when I start studying aesthetics which that's something that you guys may not know but I'm an esthetician I went to school for aesthetics and I already have my license and license in the state of Florida so once I got into school, um, my journey with my acne was fluctuating. It would go up, it would go down because I just didn't know how to take care of my skin. So I found, um, oof, sorry about that. I have to cut you guys off because I got some packages. <laughs> yeah, you know, packages is like getting toys as a kid, but it's just like, or toys. As an adult, you know, but I have a really cute video coming out for you guys. That's why I'm so excited about getting those packages. But anyways, um, yeah, when I got myself into aesthetics and learning how to take care of my skin and all of that, I got to know a lot of things that people don't usually tell you. Um, skincare company they don't usually tell you. Which one of the thing is comedonic ingredients on products. Comedonic, I'm gonna be, I will say to break it down in an easy way, will be fats, healthy fats. But your skin, when you have a skin pr prone to acne, you don't really want a lot of fats because your skin already creates those fats without you helping it. And if you helping it, then you're gonna over create fat and then the result is gonna be more pimples and you know so on and so on you get the point so I'm gonna list down below comedonic ingredients that I feel are the most prominent but one of the ones that people don't usually think of and is so common and people apply it so many times is hold on hold on you all have to get some balance in here it will be coconut oil right i know you're surprised i was surprised too coconut oil is one of the ingredients that people usually use all the time but they don't know that is very comedogenic another one will be um she butter i know i've been there too and i always got a feeling that whether coconut oil or she butter wasn't helping me but I, I, with time, I got to understand what it was. I had a lot of products with coconut oil that I have to quit. I literally bought them brand new and I have to stop using it because of that. I found out that um, they have some fats that help your body to create more fat and you don't really need that. I will give that to people that have dry skin. And that's something that you don't get to know because you're just a consumer. Me, that I went to school for aesthetics and skincare, I know that. But before, I didn't. So, yeah. 
Yeah, so after I went to school for aesthetics and everything, um, I got to learn a routine that really helped me to maintain my skin. And that was literally all about being as organic and natural as I could. So I created a little routine where uh, later on I'm going to create a video listing all the products that I use on my face and body that are pure natural. Well, not pure natural, but the most organic that I have found and have worked wonders on my skin. Because if you're watching this video, most likely you're prone to have acne acne and pimples so you may have a skin that is um, combined or dry to um, blemishes or in acne and pimple so I'm pretty sure your case will be related to my case so your skin is gonna understand my skin that that's how I see it so in that case um, most likely whatever I use make work for you but you never know you know just keep that in mind just get small samples of the products that I'm gonna tell you and then see if they work for you. But overall, they have great, great, great reviews and I love them. So the first thing that I do is that I clean my face. I clean my face with Dessert Essence. That's the product right there. After I clean my face with that one, I, I usually do it with my hands. I double cleanse, I cleanse once and then twice. And then after that, I clean my face with a towel that I use just for my face. I have a towel for my body, a towel for my hands, and a towel for my own face. That's another thing that you should keep in mind. Um, to once a week, every other week, I would say twice a month, I usually apply a mask. And the mask that I apply is this one. And I know you have seen it because it's so great and amazing. It's called Aztec Secret. So it's just mug. I mix it with water and I apply it and then I take a shower and I remove it and that's it but it's so fucking great I don't know it's just like ah, that's how I feel <laughs> um yeah after I clean my face after I wash my face dry my face I apply I apply a toner which the one I apply is uh, what's the name of that Dyers 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 I'm not good with names because you all are not good with names. You guys already know it. Um, so that tonic is so freaking good. I don't know, like it have um um and it's made with chasel and rose petal water. Rose petal is freaking good for your face. Like I know that for sure. So the fact that these two are combined is just great. And then after that, I apply a moisturizer, but it just depends. If I'm going to apply makeup and I'm going to work, I'm not going to apply a moisturizer, which the one that I apply, I use this one. It's from Clinic. It's called 72 Hours Search. Yeah. From Clinic. So this one, all the products that I've been listing, come back, come back. All the products that, I'm been, that I have been telling you guys right now, they are mainly, mainly organic. But this one, this one has some ingredients that are not really fully organic, but it's okay. It's half and half. And I'm going to show you guys why I say that. Where's my phone? <laughs> um, I have an app that I'm pretty sure. Um, okay. I'm pretty sure you guys have never heard in your life. And it's called Think Dirty. I learned about that app when I was in school and it's an app that you can type the products that you're using or um, scan the barcode and it's gonna pop up the product and tell you if the ingredients that it has is good or bad so um, that's the only product that is not really that healthy but I'm gonna show you how it's not that bad you know so I go to the app and then I tap Clinic 72 um, hour Sorry. Sorge. Sorge? I think it's Sorge. Um, yeah, okay. So I found it right here. So I found it right here and sorry, I got to get comfortable. I found it right here and you see the ingredients that it have. 
So you see that red will be very dirty. Uh, yellow will be half and half, which is this product. And then um, green <laughs> will be okay. Will be okay. So this freaking app, this freaking app, God bless whoever invented this shit. Because for people that are... Um, I would say that I in this holistic lifestyle, that's lifesaver. Back in the days, I would have to search every ingredient. And the thing is that sometimes company highlight some ingredients or like the ingredients are on the box and then you throw the box away and then you don't know how to find out. But you can do it, but it's just a hustle, you know what I'm saying? That's lifesaver. That's a lifesaver app right there. And it gives you all the tea, and that's it. So, yeah, this moisturizer is great. It works wonder for me under my makeup. And I have to go with one that is not as much organic because as far as I have looked so far, anytime I found a really good moisturizer that was very organic, it would get discontinued or it would be hard for me to find. I mean, I'm pretty sure there's a lot of them out there, but I'm very picky in particular to, with the stuff that I like. And the one that I have found that I would love to keep buying them, there's something going on. So this one, Sensis Clinic, I can find it anywhere. Um, yeah. Yeah. Now, um, after you get better when, with your acne and everything... You're gonna see that whenever you're about to have your period or now and then you're gonna get random pimples. So I wouldn't advise for you to use like something that would like take like half of your face for you to apply it to avoid that pimple. What I would do is that I will get um tea tree oil and cotton applicators I always forget what the name of, the, of this is so tea tree and cotton 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 applicator and then you get that one just suck it in on the uh, just suck the cotton on the oil and then just put it on wherever you have the pimple and let it sit overnight nighttime I usually get tea tree combined with argan oil and rose hip oil. I mix them three and I apply them on my face. If I have a pimple, after I apply that, well, let me just go back in time. So nighttime, I wash my face, um, I apply my toner, and then I apply my moisturizer, and then I apply the three oils that I just said, and then if I have a pimple, I will apply the tea tree on the spot. And I will let that sit overnight, and that's it. I usually wake up like, fine. And daytime, when I have to apply makeup, I will apply the Clinique moisturizer, and that's it. Yeah, and another thing is that if you have dark spots from that acne that you already heal, and you're trying to speed up the process, I have used this cream. You have to understand that this is with, um, what's the name of that ingredient? Hold on, hold on. Hydroquinone. It have hydroquinone. So hydroquinone is may not be suitable for everybody. It may give you an allergic reaction. Please look at the ingredients or consult with the with your dermatologist. Because whatever I have tried, I know it works for me, but it not may work for everybody. And I don't want you to have an allergic reaction and then look ugly. Because that's not my goal. I want you to look as flawless as you can. That's my goal. So when I was having those issues, I applied this cream on the spots that I have darker than my regular skin to accelerate the process. So it's called Nadinola. I'm pretty sure you have seen it. You can buy it at Walmart, um, anywhere, any retail store. I have bought it at Walmart, I have bought it at Walgreens, CVS. So any re uh, real store, uh, retail, any retail, um, you, any retail that have over the counter um, skincare products, I'm pretty sure you can find it. So, um, yeah, it's not very organic. It's not organic. It's not organic. Have a lot of ingredients that you don't want. But 
if you're in this case that you have to oscillate the healing and the toning on and even your skin I will suggest that um, I used that one in the past um, I don't use that anymore if you can see it's very old and like broken I just kept literally the this cup to show you guys but I don't use that anymore in my case right now when I want to heal something uh, it is on time I will apply rose hip oil but of course because it's natural it takes its time I say that one because maybe you want to accelerate the process and if you want to do that go for it all right you all oh my I haven't even drink my wine I don't even know what I'm calling this Wednesday wine because I'm not even drinking wine I'm talking to you guys so that will be it for today um stay tuned because I'm gonna be uploading a, a video where I talk about all the products that I use for my body and skin that are literally very organic and natural and not average erase it uh, not toxic at all so if you're in this holistic lifestyle, I'm pretty sure you're going to love that. Uh, please, please, please sur subscribe, like, comment, and share. Sure. Yes, sure. So more people can know this information that I'm sharing because I'm pretty sure not everybody knows that. And that's like information that you want to know and tell your bestie about it, you know. So um, until next time, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you so much for coming back. And I'll catch you guys later. Cheers.